The name of Wally Pfister is linked to Christopher Nolan. With him, Pfister has built an impressive body of work. Let's review it in three keys. If there is something clear in Pfister's career as a cinematographer, it's that he prefers to shoot in film, generally in an amorphic format. In his works for Nolan, they have also explored that bigger-than-life feeling, shooting in IMAX, such impressive sequence as this one. It's no coincidence that in many of his works there are many wide-open shots, not only as establishing shots, but employed in a dramatic, narrative way to intensify the sense of big spectacle. Fister likes to feel free on set, to have his camera in movement, exploring the action from all angles. This feature, however, has an obvious difficulty. How can you light the set? Where can you hide the lights? Look how he does it in this sequence. I didn't see the light until I was already a man, but then it was nothing to me but blinding. The shadow was... I didn't see the light until I was already a man, but... Fister is never strident. His way of lighting the scene will never divert audiences' attention from what is important. The plot and the characters. Even in films like Batman Begins or The Dark Knight, he works in a realistic style. At least he describes it just like that. In Batman Begins, he voluntarily tried to keep Gotham in shadows so that the amazing sets built in Cardigan and Shepperton Studios didn't deflect attention from the narration. That's the style of Wally Pfister. It's you, isn't it? 